For the last few months since this year started, did you ever have the moment that you accomplished something for yourself? Or you're just looking at this video while slacking off in the bed? If you want a good start, then let's bring it on. and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an incoming second year med student and I enjoy making videos about anything related to being a med student and my other hobbies as well. Well, I'm not here to tell you that I'm studying because I'm a med student and it's the way to be productive. No. But there are other ways that you can still be productive. I'm going to post this video. This is my routine while I'm at home and I made this as my jumpstart activity before classes start. It keeps me sane and also this is the perfect time that I can do whatever I want to do before I'm occupied with academic work again. I will not pressure you or give you drastic tips for yourself to change but we will be realistic here by starting with the basics and this is for the betterment of your holistic health. So first, when you wake up in the morning, do you wake up early? Or do you find yourself sleeping when the sun is up already? Did I just set up my camera and film myself, then went back to bed? Para kung wari nag-film? Hindi. Ayon sa mga eksperto. Char! In a Harvard study, it states that people who stay up late may be smarter and creative. But when it comes to success, career standing, job performances, morning people are at an advantage. That's why they're often referred to as proactive people. Obama does it. Oprah and Bill Gates does it also. Why not try, deba? Right? As a changed woman, wow. I try my best to wake up not later than 10 a.m. It's not that hard, right? And soon, I will try to make it early until I make it a habit. So how are you able to get up? I learned something called the 5 second rule, wherein every time you have to do something, you count backwards 5, 4, Three, two, one. There's a psychological explanation that your body immediately will respond to it. Another tip is that I don't really recommend. But this one is to grab your phone immediately and scroll down some posts that will help you start your day. These methods may help fire up your neurons so that once you stand up from the bed, your brain is already ready to work at an optimum level. Second is fixing your bed. Take up. Yes, making a habit of fixing your bed will make you feel that you're actually doing something right. Accomplishing the first task in the morning. Small steps. It improved my mood as it made me feel energized. Positivity is somehow flowing through my body and I do feel competent to start the day. Next is learning how to cook. <laughs> as a Filipina and the eldest in the family, we are all pressured to learn how to cook. Kasi diba, people will tell you, Babae ka, dapat ka maroon na magluto, baka iwanan ka ng asawa mo. Huh? Alam mo, sige po, maroon na po ko magluto. Sana naman, di ako iwanan. Kumare. Sa mga di po alam, cooking is a life skill, not a gentle role. Excuse me. <laughs> Kidding aside, my dad taught me how to cook during my gap year. And I swear, for me, having this life skill definitely made me survive living in this pandemic. The benefits include beating stress, you can eat the food that you love, following towards a healthier lifestyle, and you can save money. I cook my own food for the day and I make sure that I have a side veggie or a fruit. Next important aspect that we also need to take care of is our spiritual health. I read my daily bread book and the verse for that day. I will have a page in my notebook and below, I will do journal writing. I write down... Ever met. Oh, sorry. That is the wrong clip, hey? What I feel and what I've accomplished throughout the day and what I'm grateful for. Benefits of it is you keep track of your state of mind and help you identify your thoughts, clear situations, and prioritizes your concerns. No one can truly know their purpose in life in an instant, but these methods can guide you and helps you understand your true purpose in life. I found this next tip, a sustainable one for starters. So I make time to read the book for 10 to 20 minutes. To be honest, I'm not a book where my friends know that, but I felt like that I can still do more. Why not expand my imagination by reading a book? As of now, I combine an audiobook and an ebook in my iPad. I don't pressure myself to finish it immediately. Through this, I also realized that besides being a visual learner, I was also an auditory learner. 
Right now, I'm finishing The Alchemist and I'm already preparing the books I'll be reading next. Comment down below if you have any suggestions. Thank you! The next tip is neglected by many and I think it's part of being productive. It is drinking! <laughs> Don't forget to hydrate yourself throughout the day. Whenever I have webinars and meetings for my org for the next school year or just going to the social media or scrolling some updates on the news, I put a picture of water beside my study area because even though my day is busy, I'm still reminded to refill and to drink your water. <laughs> I went also on a coffee hiatus to free myself for a bit from the slavery of coffee. And yes, this is my favorite part of the day and it is doing something I badly want to do. I must say that this is the most productive ones I've had. So far, I did exhibit A. Binge watching. Watching with my appa. <laughs> K-drama or Netflix series or movie. I think I finished five series already wow. and susulitin ko talaga yung the remaining weeks. Exhibit B! Being creative. My friends know that makeup and art are my staple hobbies. It feels therapeutic wow. when I color my face and painting as well. It was a perfect time killer every time I feel bored. Exhibit C! For leisure also, I was not really into games but the game that I was already addicted to is Call of Duty. It also was a way of talking to my friends and classmates. Add nyo ko, code name. Thugs are life. Exhibit D. And of course, making content and editing videos. I'm glad that I finally had the opportunity to open up myself to YouTube once again by documenting my med life and creating videos that will help and inspire people like you. Next. Wow, the audacity of this. In the middle of the day, I try to find the time to exercise, usually two or three times a week. Or never. <laughs> Spare me me this tip. I'm not consistent with this. If I work out, puso ngayon di ba ang workout videos, which I rely on Pamela Reeves. Work out, and ever since I worked out, I admit that it may not have helped me lose weight, but it made me feel a sense of accomplishment. Kasi nagawan ko priority yung health ko. Exercise has indeed improved my mood. No stop food by increasing my dopamine and serotonin levels. Next is talk to your love. <laughs> The pandemic changed our lives a lot, so don't forget to spare some time to talk to your loved ones. In my case, I just make time to talk to them through video call every night, even just for a couple of minutes. I just talk about how my day went, and kinakamusta sila. And also guys, it's so ironic that there are a lot of things we talk about than me being at home because I've just been a s*** in my room while watching the dramas. After a long day, try your best to do this last thing three activities before going to bed. Clean your room, plan your tasks for tomorrow, and take a bath before going to bed. Spending just a few minutes decluttering my area takes a huge part of my next day because every time I clean the night before, my mornings are less hectic. This makes me feel calm and organized. It also feels good to wake up in a clean room. Planning also makes me look forward to what I would do tomorrow. It gives me the opportunity to maximize my time and likely to accomplish more tasks. And taking a nice bath before bed and doing my skincare routine. It helps aid your thermoregulation process for good hygiene. You feel fresh, relaxed, and prepares your mind and body to have a good night's rest. I swear it keeps you at peace and accomplished as you end your day. It may take a few minutes of your time to do this, but it can have a major impact on your day while you are at home. Living in this current situation is not great and even for all of us. Sometimes you feel like you don't want to do anything. That's okay. I also procrastinate. So don't be too hard on yourself. But wag mong kalimutan na tulungan ko din yung sarili mo. Try your best to get up. It takes a couple minutes to do this, but for me, it made a huge difference in my routine and my overall well-being. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for supporting me in this journey. And thank you that I gained 200 subscribers! Yay! Alam kong konti pa, pero small steps, di ba? So that ends my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click the notification bell below to keep you guys updated on my next video. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Stay safe. Bye!